Now, as your robot is trundling along, it's going to find obstacles. Some idiot will have left their school bag lying in the way, or there's a table leg, and you want your robot to be able to navigate around obstacles like that, not end up bumping against a table leg and just going and trying to move and, and not being able to get around. So we're going to create a function which is to avoid an obstacle. And we're going to put that in a forever loop. So as the whatever the robot is doing, forever, it will be looking out for obstacles and will be able to just shimmy around the obstacle. So I'm going to go down to functions and I'm going to make a function and I'm going to call it avoid obstacle and under forever I'm going to where's functions I'm going to avoid the obstacle so whatever else the robot is doing forever it's going to be avoiding obstacles and now I need to get it to avoid the obstacle well let's start with the gigglebot and if we go up to the gigglebot and we look at the various commands we need something which is to do with avoiding obstacles oh here we go we've got obstacle is closer than a hundred millimeters so if the robot has little sensors little infrared sensors on it and if it detects something in its way we'll be able to use this command to do something so I'm just going to drag it and put it on the side here well let's think about it robot is moving around and if there's an obstacle Aha! Do you hear that word if? That means we need a conditional. Always when you're doing a program, speak to yourself. Say what, in plain language what you want the computer to do. And then listen out for those little things like ifs or do four times and that kind of thing. So if we go down to our normal logic, then we've got that if statement. And we can just drag that obstacle is closer than 100 millimeters. So if the obstacle is closer than 100 meters, then it must do something. And we could simply get it to turn right, for example, and then it can carry on doing whatever it's doing. So as it's going along, if there's an obstacle, it just turns right and then tries to continue. And if there's another obstacle, it'll turn right again and try to continue. And that's one way you can do that whole avoid obstacle thing. With the alpha bot, you'll notice you've got infrared uh, left and infrared, you can change that to infrared right. So what I could do is again go in and use this if, and then again in the logic, I could choose the one which says something or something. So if the infrared is to the left or if the infrared is to the right, then it must turn right at a particular speed and then try to continue. The infrared has uh, on the alphabet has one slightly to the left and slightly to the right. So if there's an obstacle in front of it, if it detects something on the left or it detects something on the right, it's just going to turn right at a certain speed and then try to continue, hopefully avoiding the obstacle. And then under your button A pressed, you'll have the rest of your program, whatever it is that the computer will, the robot will be trying to do. Hope that makes sense.